Hello. Right, this one's for Chris Jones, who asked me, he said, what has been the effect of like the ULEZ, the LEZ, the CAS on the trucks? And it's a fair question. I want to talk a little bit about what, what effect it's had for me and then maybe what effect it might have for you guys, you guys out there running the van, that kind of thing. The truth of the matter is, um, it stopped us going into London. <laughs> which is not the end of the world because jobs in London don't necessarily pay as much as they should because but they go, oh, it's only 30 miles. Yeah, but it's 30 miles through like central London. Sometimes, you know, you're crawling your way around the North Circular. You can be on that job for ages. Um, now, we've got two, we've also learned there's two different types of trucks. There's the ones where you have to be all camered up um, to go in. And there's the ones where you don't have to be your camera up to go in. Now, if you're Euro 5 and you're camera up, it's going to cost you 100 quid to go into the zone. If, however, you're in an LF 55, which has got a bigger windscreen and bigger screens, you don't need to be camera up. You just need to register. If you register, you can go in, but it's still 100 quid. Which means that whereas you'd normally be quoting the job at 250, you've got to quote it at 350, and you know it's going to be grief, and it prices you out the market. We have been in a couple of times. We've been in, despite the fact we're not camera up, and as a result of which, you're then looking at a 500 pound fine. We've had that twice. Once one of the drivers went in, didn't realize he was doing it. Actually, that's not true. We've been in three times. Gordon went in once, but the thing is, it was a diversion. And he was, I was like, he's just gone inside the zone. But he said, but I was told I had to go inside the zone. We didn't get fined for that. So presumably because they diverted, they turned the cameras off or something like that. But yeah, we've been in twice um, and got fined 500 pounds each time. Once because we knew we, we didn't know we'd gone in. And once in one of the LFs because although it was on auto pay, I hadn't registered it for auto pay. So it cost us 500 pounds, that hurt. We have also been in subsequently when we was on a multi-drop and then we run the guy and we went, mate, there's a multi-drop, one of these is wood green. It was Finchley, North Finchley. You can't do North Finchley. What we did in that situation is we agreed with the shipper, we pay 50, he paid 50. Still, takes money off the job. Birmingham, different kettle of fish. Birmingham is 50 pound to go in, 60 pound if you don't pay it and they send you a fine. And as a result, we tend not to pay it. Birmingham have been very sensible. Now that's stupid, really. You should pay it because it's still a tenner. But there's a lot going on. And you're always thinking, maybe there's that one time where the camera won't pick you up. No, the camera picks you up every single time. What is also massively frustrating a lot of the time with Birmingham is you kind of, you've got to drop off like 10 pallets over there. There's the case sign. There's the destination. I can see it. I'm here, pump, so I'm all right if I'm here pumping out the horrible fumes, but over there, because fumes don't actually, wind doesn't actually blow fumes across or anything like that, but it is what it is. So if we do Birmingham, we quote. If it's in the cast, sometimes with Birmingham I've actually scored because I've quoted jobs thinking that was inside the zone. The ship has agreed to the price, and then when the job's come through, it was inside the zone. And I thought, I've just quoted that job £50 more than I would have done to cover my fee that isn't actually there. So that has worked. Portsmouth has now got a zone. Newcastle is now considering a zone. Um, for us, we just try not to run inside the zones. We try to run, you know, sort of local home counties areas. If a London job comes up, we just don't take it. The frustration, whereas I'm at the moment, I've just dropped Saffron Walden. At the moment, most of the jobs that I could be quoting are going into London. I don't want to go. I can't really afford to go. So it does limit the amount of work that I can have. But then I still believe it's not really about the environment, is it? It's really about poor people's tax under the name of ecology. Because if you think, okay, so what have we got to do? So you've got to scrap your lorry and then go and buy a brand new lorry. Yeah, but hold on a second, doesn't that require stuff? You know, have you then had to mine stuff and build stuff and it's more plastic and it's more metal and all stuff you've had to pull out of the ground to replace the truck that I've got that's absolutely fine. Yeah, but it's better for the environment because the emissions are better. Are they? By how much? If I actually stick that rod thing up my um, exhaust pipe, that sounds rude, doesn't it? And then stick it up the, uh, uh, the exhaust pipe for Euro 6, what is the actual particular difference between the two? We've, I've got... Um, add blue here. 
I've got a catalytic converter or whatever it is. I've got a system installed on this truck that turns the carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide to soot that falls out on the floor. So how come suddenly a Euro 6 truck is super duper clean, but a Euro 5 truck, oh no, you're going to the devil because you're pumping up fumes. And how long is it going to be before we turn around and get here? Euro 6 trucks, you're horrible. You need an electric truck because we're burning the electricity. So we're burning the fuel somewhere to make the electricity. Well, maybe they're doing it with windmills, I don't know. But yes, yeah, so I still believe that. But no, we just tend to avoid the zones. When it comes down to being running in a van and stuff like that, you just put the, you put the, you put the zone charge on. That's what I used to do. It's got congestion on it, so I have £15 on the job. Then if it's got a zone charge on, which is £12.50, you have £30 on the job. Then I make the job that, I normally do that job for 80, 90 quid. With a zone charge, you're looking at 120. Most shippers used to, in my experience, go, yeah, that's fine. And that's probably what they do now. Like I say, we run lorries now, we don't run vans. But what, the thing that gets me is one day, like Manchester's proposing a huge zone, one day they'll all have a zone. And it'll be a bit like, I keep saying this, it'll be a bit like The Incredibles, where that guy, the syndrome, who sells all his superpowers, he said one day everybody will be super, and as a result, which nobody will. One day, everyone will have a zone. <coughs> and then there'll be no zone. <coughs> Excuse me, because the whole thing will just join up. And then you'll just pay one, one zone charge fee to drive in all the zones. Just like we do right now with road tax. That's my take on it. What, what has it affected me? It's cost me a little bit of money. Um, and it's also made my life a little bit easier because it stopped me from running in places where I don't want to go anyway. And at the end of the day, we're still doing okay. There's still enough work out there outside the zone for me to carry on and take care, take money.